Our John Last has the details in this edition of The Last Word. When you think about it, some things never change here at Presque Isle State Park. The water, the beaches, the trees, and nature. But some things have changed over the years, including the ambulances that respond to medical emergencies. This is an ambulance that served the park 70 years ago. It was purchased brand new in 1953 after a fundraising campaign by the Doc Ainsworth State Park Lifeguard Association, now known as the Presque Isle Lifeguard Association. The shiny new ambulance was the pride of the peninsula back then. It was manned entirely by the lifeguards who treated the patients and even drove them to the hospital. The ambulance ended up at the Erie Firefighters Historical Museum after the vehicle was retired from service in the late 1970s. It sat idle and unseen in a storage garage for years and years. In 2008, the museum director called Don Benzikowski of the Presque Isle Advisory Committee. And he contacted me in an effort to see if there was any way that this ambulance could be displayed at the Tom Bridge Center. The ambulance was in no condition to be displayed after sitting in the storage garage for all those years. Don was still working full time for the state DEP in 2008 and did not have time to spearhead a restoration campaign. But now in 2023, Don is retired. He never forgot about the offer to showcase the old ambulance. And I wanted to make it a priority not only for Presque Isle, but for the Erie community and, and for, um, you know, the sake of, of saving some history here about Presque Isle. Don approached George Lyons, the president of Contemporary Motor Cars. Restoring cars is a big part of his business. George is willing to do all he can to restore this vehicle. It's just exciting to see any motor vehicles that have a local connection to Erie still being preserved. I like that a lot. That's a big trigger for me. George says the ambulance will need a new engine, but finding a 1953 Ford V8 flathead engine may be difficult and could be expensive. But just like 70 years ago when the Lifeguard Association purchased the new ambulance, today's Lifeguard Association will handle the fundraising for the restoration work. But as you can imagine, the cost is becoming more in significance because we're finding out, well, now it needs this, and now it needs that. The public is being asked to help with the funding. Financial grants are also being pursued to get this ambulance running again. With the last word in Erie, John Last, Erie News Now.